Alright, hello everyone again. Today we are going to continue our playthrough of Alpha Protocol. We will follow the adventures of our agent Tort Michael Thornton and at the current moment we are heading to Saudi Arabia. During the first episode I've covered all of the basics. We've took a look at the journey we've had at the Grey Box facility, the headquarters of Alpha Protocol. And now we are going to Saudi Arabia. Let's see what we can do here. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Yeah, guys. Because of what happened inside. As I've already mentioned previously, most of our game is going to be... A huge, huge flashback of what have happened before. Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. <laughs> let's do, let's start with the aggressive clear. approach. Where can I find you heat? It's a little more complicated than that. It's going to require some groundwork and lots of it. Good to see you're eager to get started. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble okay. is, we don't know his location, but we have three leads. An arms dealer, Najri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nasri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also We've actually found some dossiers in the, used in the, past. In the gray box facility while we're doing our job device, for partner. We may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored uh, what there. What about the full assault? Then why are we playing around? Why not send in the troops and storm the place? We need to make sure the missiles I'm are... I'm trying to switch my are, approaches so we are more interested in the shortest flights in history. We'll want you so to the go Michael in characters alone, would be so the flat. and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. Sounds fair. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested Let's in. Let's ask him about the weapons. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the, to the storage? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. I mean, they could still have given me some private, well, some cash. You already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. Alright, so... is that it? Westridge. Great. Well, I home guess this is it. Home. And this is old cassette record player. Okay, so... Thanks to the fact that we previously chose a lot of... Recruit stances, uh, we managed to acquire 10 of our points back And we've also got a level up, so we've got 21 points and we need to use them wisely Well, given the fact Given the fact that I'm going to play A no death style challenge, I guess we need to invest some points into Toughness to get our max to our uh, maximum HP to 150. That wouldn't be bad. Arrow. Alright, Iron Wheel. We could technically get that. How much is that? 25 bonus health, 25 damage reduction. And I can't get killed because I lose this ability. Okay, but, but we also would like to invest some in stealth, possibly. Evasion wouldn't be bad. Overclock. I mean, yeah, it allows you to use grenades more effectively, but not so sure about this. Mm. Given the fact we're about to shoot a lot, maybe invest in some 
Let's see, plus 50% healing for the med kits is not bad. Weapons rich chambering, magazine size of all weapons plus 3. Field stripping. Get extra loot from caches. Strike combo wouldn't be bad as well. Melee damage reduction sucks though. Hmm. Plus 2 accuracy, plus 2 recoil control. Basic SMG hits. Okay. Pistol proficiency. I mean. Strike combo would be useful if I caught up in the melee. Medical stations on site. I guess if I manage to survive the firefight, then I will be, able to, will be able to heal up anyway. I'll go with the basic proficiency with the assault rifles. Assault rifles is always a good backup weapon. I don't think that I'm going to invest too heavily in this, but this is a good set of skills so far. If we don't want to die. Yes, we are going to do it like this. Uh, let's uh, take a look throughout the house. What do we have here? This is a beautiful bedroom. <laughs> it's the shitty apartment I live. Well, well, I'm really sorry about this. It's not shitty. It's actually mine, but... It's the apartment I currently live in. Well, I bet it beats most of the apartments we live in. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Oh, cool. We can do some customization, but uh, I think I don't think we're going to do that. Let's access the weapon locker. Hmm, it looks cool as well. What do we have? Interceptor body armor. Good endurance, but very noisy. It has one upgrade slot, but if I put this on... Then there is no way I will be able to do anything else. Okay, maybe we will have to use civilian clothing. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's take a look at our computer. Oh, we also had a TV if I remember correctly. Navigate here. Yeah, the proper TV. Today, Senator Patrick Darcy unveiled new legislation aimed at cleaning up. By the way, the Senator Darcy is the father of access to legislators. Sean Darcy, the, bill the, the guy who ran the act or P -O -R -C gadget act orientation. Prohibit lobbyists from contributing to election campaigns and require. And this father is the reason why this guy cannot descend on this mission, although he really wanted to. Any member of the legislative branch. Opponents of the bill have labeled it a draconian offense against free speech. And we actually, th those news are not just static or the background. We will actually be able to participate and uh, have an effect on all of those events. Should be compensated if conflict arises in Asia? Legislation being discussed on Capitol Hill would assist with relocation costs for operations based in countries considered hostile to the United States. Detractors in both parties have attacked the bill as a massive bailout for companies that have outsourced American jobs. China and India are the largest destinations for offshore operations, with everything from manufacturing to software okay. development being uh, let's take a look at our computer, what do we have here? Alright. Let's see what do we have here, Mina have uh, gave us some funds. Okay, Mike, I'm guessing Westridge have already gave you the lecture about not using agency funds on high-profile assassination missions. Aside from what's in the, your safe house, you'll have to make use of whatever you can borrow, swipe or steal. If you need supplies, try the clearing house. It's a black market internet exchange. There is a seller the, uh, there named Mongoose who should be able to provide you with the basics while you're in Saudi Arabia. And speaking of steal, a contact of mine. Uh, in the US government just dug up an al slash fund buried in the Jord Jordanian bank account. I will close the login credential and password in the attachment. Just download the data and self-extract self execu executable. We'll transfer the funds your way and do it soon before the government amateurs will, fi will finish filing the proper paperwork to seize the account for themselves. 
keep an eye out for any other funds you can abscond. I don't even know this web, but I guess I can understand the meaning. During your mission, we're not, allow, we're not worried about journalists and investigators following money trails in circles around the globe as long as their search never takes them to Alpha Protocol. Okay. Your cover email. Hello Mike, welcome aboard. I've already set you up with email address you can give to people you meet in the field and not only is it against regulations to hand out your agency con info is pretty sure fire way of getting reassigned to Greenland. We hawk it on some other S end of the world. So your email is going to be our email is Mr. Uh, Mtorton Halbeck.com. So we pretend that we work for Halbeck. Don't worry, the, e the email won't sit on home corporate server. I've made sure all email, all mail in and out gets redirected to encrypted servers that you can access from any computer that's running the agency's decryption key. Your login is able 3 d Fonger minus the quotes, of course, changed when you first log in. Let me know if you have any questions. And we can also, oh, we can reply the same way. We'll be professional, thank for the more welcome, glad to be part of the team. Aggressive, saying, but if I want to stay in touch with someone, I'll meet with them in person. I don't need matters of national security, bounce around civilian servers or floating through echelon filters. Or it could be suave. Great! Now I can pretend I'm a salary man at a multicultural, multinational corporation. I don't have any kids, so maybe I'll photograph my guns and put little frame pictures of my firearms on my desk. And at the company party, we can totally get drunk, have sex in the supply closet, and then spend next month acting as acting all awkward when we meet up in the hallway. Just kidding, getting drunk part is optional. Let's send this one, it's hilarious. Yeah, minus one relations, but who cares. Okay, Mikey Westridge put in charge of logistics for run of the tension camp, should be fun, some things you need to know. This mission comes thanks to a local contact of mine. Yeah, I've got a lot of ton of contacts in the area. What can I say? My grasp of the Arabic language is rivaled only by my charm and modesty. But seriously, this guy is a cool cat, he is double aged as everyone in al convinced he is one of them. So he gets up pretty solidly, uh, though he doesn't work cheap. I've started up on the base, it was built to his intercent storm cliff side in 1960s when Gamal Abdel Nasser, second president of Egypt was trying to start an anti-Saudi uprising in Yemen. Uh, that's right, I'm a history buff. Anyway, it's nestled in the reach in such a way that it's hard for sentries in the base to get a clear view across the terrain. We'll drop you outside the base and you should be able to get it close with no problems. Local weather patterns suggest a sandstorm will hit soon. It's about as likely as sun in Los Angeles or rain in London. We are going to time your mission with a sandstorm, take advantage of the reduced enemy visibility and hearing the storm provides. I'll be your handler for the mission, but not your nanny. I know I tackled this mission with stealth and the shit on explosives when, when that fails. That's interesting. I, uh, I'm actually beaten this mission. I can say I didn't read this letter before. And he is right, we'll need explosives later. Uh, but I don't care how you get things done, I just care that you get things done. I'll make sure all my friendly contacts are offside, so don't worry about killing friendlies. Aside from that, well, should be a simple in and out mission, just follow my lead and we'll kick ass, take names, save the world and be home in time for a trip to the Titi Bar. Okay. Since the agents spell as fast and secrecy not have on guns, hey Mikey, if you need supplies, I have a local contact that you should suffice, his name is Murat and he is shameless mercenary of an arms dealer unafraid to peddle any weapon to whoever offers cash and I, would me and I mean that in the nicest way a lot of locals would just as soon blow up anyone from NATO country, but Murat shows that capitalism beats racism and xenophobia any day of the week. Okay, let's... Let's make sure that I'm in the middle of the camera. Have you visited the clearinghouse yet? Well, I've made sure you're patched to the Murat selective shortlist. When you log in, you'll see what he has for sale. Okay. Well, uh, for the first missions, our basic equipment should suffice for the most part, but we need to make sure that we are going to buy all or every, or, mo or at least most of the intel we've got. Uh, thanks to our thoroughness, we have a, a very good discount. Let's see what do we have here. We have got SWAT utility armor. I don't know. I mean, honestly, night operations armor doesn't seem half that bad. 
It still has more endurance than the casual attire. Its sound and print qualities should be good enough. Four should be enough to actually sneak up on all the guys to be able to take them out. And it also has an upgrade slot which will help me out. Let's see what do we have. I will not be able to afford this one. SWAT utility armor. It's good but the sound dampening is very low. That's the problem. Shock pads. Extra endurance. Okay. Damage reduction. Huge damage reduction actually. We need to buy this before we leave Saudi Arabia. Minus one sound dampening still be good enough. Fitter underlay. Ability cooldown. Extra armor. Extra damage reduction. Extra endurance and care. Ammo carrying capacity. Chill camouflage. Okay, cool. Uh, we definitely want this one. We definitely want printed circuitry, but I guess it's okay. We should be able to get it later. No, honestly, I want this night operations armor. Let's see what we can sell. Yeah, we can sell our interceptor body armor, but... I don't know. I guess I'm buying this night operations armor. What else do we have? We have different guns, different upgrades. Uh, the guns from Saudi Arabia are very stable, have good stats, but below average stopping power, so they're not great. I still prefer damage most of the time. For some reason I don't have any music remaining. That's okay though. I guess I'll just grab my standard equipment for now. Do we have anything that improves damage? We have but it's not significant. Rifle muzzle assist is not bad. Well, extended mech is not is not bad at all. I guess I could buy a customized assault rifle clip. It's not that expensive. Let's buy this one. Intercept anonymous black. Uh, okay, bonus objective. Anonymous black market source offering intel and other equipment shipments. Yes, thanks. Reduction in enemy strength on the arms dealer mission. American private military company will run sorting of far from notification, draw out any alert stuff, leaving only the second rate guards on duty when they show up. Yes! Taking into account that we are playing as a recruit, I bet this is actually a good idea. Mission map for a small fee, surveillance company will provide you with detailed map of other security systems. Yes, please. Uh, we also have a dossier on Alsamat. We are going to buy this one. And we are going to save the rest of it for later. We are going to purchase some epinephrine spikes. We are going to purchase some medkits. Uh, some explosives grenades. Incendiary bombs. A couple of radio mimic beacons. Which will allow us to turn off with the incendiary bombs are very good by the way. EMP charge. I want to buy at least one. Some flashbangs, a sound generator also sounds great. Hmm. This one is actually great. I guess I'm going to sell my armor. Yeah, I mean it has a it, well its endurance is not that great. It's not that better, only plus ten in comparison to stealth armor. It also has one upgrade slot, so I'm going to sell it. And now I maybe will maybe be able to buy this thing. Yeah, sound generator, yes please. Ok, 
Okay, cool. We will unlock some dossiers. Uh, I am going to drop a save. Yeah, let's override this one. Okay, let's see what do we have as well. Couple of guys tranquilized. Mm. Okay, let's put our armor on. Uh, we don't have any mods, right? Yeah, we don't. That's fine. What should we grab with us? Uh, I guess the pistol, because the pistol is the only thing that can potentially have the barrel attached, uh, the silencer attached to it. Let's see what else do we have. We have a pistol laser sight, which slightly improves accuracy and stability. I don't think we have anything else. No, we don't. That's okay. I'm not going to use... I will go... With my assault rifle. No barrels. We have a scope, but... It will decrease my stability too much, so I'm not going to apply it. We don't need it. Uh, we are definitely going to use this customized assault rifle clip. I don't know. Okay. And we don't have anything else. Let's this be compensated if conflict arises in Asia? Okay, let's see. What about the gadgets? I can bring four with me. Okay. Well, we're definitely grabbing sound generator. I guess I will, I will probably use a penetrant spike. First aid kit seems to be prudent. Uh, let's try to be non-lethal when it's possible. Let's grab some flashbangs. Well, from purely pragmatic and roleplay perspective, the less corpses they are, the less attention your missions attract. And besides, uh, there are also some good rewards for being merciful. Let's put away say. But flashbangs, they're quite effective uh, in any way. Even if you want to kill your enemies rather than incapacitate them. So, let's get this done. In the Far East as Taiwanese president... Okay, let's intercept Nazri, the arms dealer. I've acquired all the intel. We've got good bonus by the book. Cooldown bonus on all abilities, uh, which we don't really have. Let's, so let's get going. The stolen missiles have been uh, tracked to a black market arms dealer, Omar Mohammed bin Nazri. He has set up a, a sub camp in an abandoned place outside. Zalim, break into another compound, find out everything he knows about the Halbeck missiles. Okay, let's get going. And we are already outside the flat, so we're on open. Careful, Mike. Don't play games with these guys. Well, the games is actually what I'm, is actually what I'm playing and what I'm going to play with them. Nazri said nothing about an American. Let's be aggressive. Let's There's show them off. Nazri doesn't tell you. You aren't American. In our trade, of course I am. What you think I'm going to shoot you all and carry your entire shipment out on my back? If you did, you would die. Exactly. Go on through. Nazri at the palace, waiting. Can't believe you bluffed those guards. This is actually the only way to go out, to go past those guards without starting a firefight. Let's arm tranquilizers here. Let's arm the penetrant spikes. Maybe flashbangs. We'll see. Okay, let's take a look. I had a doubt I will be able to go through this mission without raising an alarm, but... Let's see what we can do. At least we've got quite a number of HP. And I doubt that extra 10 endurance would play a huge role there. 
our character is not Nazareth very experienced yet. Palace up the hill. That's your target. Okay. It has been quiet since the airliner. I would have expected more to have happened. The airliner was enough, and we have the Hellback missiles for that. Do not be too eager. I agree with you guys. Don't do anything stupid here. Is he alone? Hopefully he is. Let's take him out. I would uh, we to try to lure some of those guys out in the open. Okay, it doesn't seem like they're reacting to this, so let's take stealth approach. Okay. They have a silencer, I guess I could try to take this guy out, but let's just evade him. Let's not risk it. I'm not sure, but the thing is that the silencer decreases my damage, so I'm sure he will be able to go down, but I'm not sure whether he will be able to raise an alarm before that. We already have a pistol laser sight, so I guess we'll probably be able to sell this one. was able to see me but luckily he was not able to raise the alarm so I would consider this a success. Well at least it's not not a, not a failure so we'll go with that. We were able to heal ourselves up and we get going and we haven't killed anybody yet. Yeah Westridge said that the, his headquarters are up ahead so this is exactly where we're going. We can also uh, take a look at the map, since we've already got everything covered there. Uh, can I navigate the map, by the way? Can I? for alternate ways in. No need to risk a direct confrontation. I agree. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you, Westridge. You are the best. You are the best handler in the world. Okay, this door is just for the show. Let's take this guy out. We got a couple of guys, it seems like. Hopefully he will not see me. Let's 
crack up the safe. Okay, we've got some cash. Uh, we need to wait for this guy to leave. Yeah, nice. Let's get those funds. Oh, holy fuck. Yeah, luckily he was not looking. Fuck. Okay. Let's not mess with those guys. Okay. Okay, there is nobody there. My girlfriend is texting me right now. This is always the covert operation by itself. Let's get going. All right. The main the main quest is complete. I have responded to my girlfriend. You know Fuck a is. lot of stairs. I agree, Mike. And I also like the fact that the game is really self-aware about certain aspects. Like we don't have anything here. Hurry and unload those trucks. Yourself useful. Start unloading the second truck. Why must we hurry to unload these weapons? Nasri has plenty to display already. <laughs> okay. No way back up there now. It's nice. Uh, let's actually take a look at the patrol routines of those guys. Yeah, 
and the risk of the firefight is quite high. I'm really scared of those guys on top. I'm sure that there is someone on top, right? I also want to get all the loot. The loot itself seems pretty good. The ceramic plates, all the stuff like that. four guys only four four is not a lot I will be able to kill four I can also try to distract them but I'm sh I'm afraid that this will make the AI unpredictable maybe we should take this guy out Let's wait and try to do something about this one. Hello, my friend. Are you just going to stay there? I mean... Okay, I suppose we need to wait for this one to leave then. It's safe, let's not fuck this up. got discovered all right let's just pick up all the loot okay seems like we've got everything any bonus objectives no doesn't seem like it everything should be fine found a way into the palace good going to be hot in there careful Mike okay let's be careful about this Let's be 
pick up this briefcase. We also gathered some intel, whatever that would mean. Okay, I guess we need flashbangs. Probably need flashbangs. Okay, two guys. Let's wait for the second one to change his direction. Honestly, I remember trying to beat this mission without obtaining this uh, intel which decreases the number of enemies on the map. And it seems like there would have been four guys rather than two, so it was definitely worth it. Is this guy do going to do anything? And I will not be able to get a critical hit from here anyway. For fuck's sake, let's hope that he will not be able to react. Okay, some assault rifle ammo. Nice. Whew! Wonder if any of it works. See if there's something you can use. Well, I must admit that it wasn't the, uh, the best possible approach. And that's why you want the Penifin Strike. It makes you a beast in melee combat, even if you are not really invested a lot into this so definitely worth it well at least this guy is no longer there their comrades are laying unconscious maybe if I would have killed them then there would be a problem that we were unseen but other than that we did great okay let's take a look at what we have here we have some ammo let's crack the safe 
That's one of the advantages when you knock out all the enemies. Because you can then loot everything in peace. Without being interrupted. This T-34 looks great as well. Uh, by the way, I can also fire a missile. But the problem is that I fire it, then it will raise the alarm, which I don't want to, so... I'm sorry about this, guys, but... I'm not going to fire a missile. I want this playthrough to be clean, if possible. Flashbangs would be good to use. Okay, let's restore our armor first. Guys were stunned as well. I underestimated the flashbacks. Fuck, fuck! Give me the controls back. Oh fuck, fuck! Okay, I'll use the flashback. Yeah, the flash is a bit effective. I didn't even have to kill anybody, that's just wonders. Yeah, I guess this is not the correct door. We need to switch the shipping labels first. ammo but okay that's fine Mike, oh they you right here he's got nowhere to run this should be quick give me a sec you, who are you let's be professional Omar Mohammed bin Nasri by order of the United States government I'm placing you under arrest arrest let's spook him out of it no crime here 
Nothing involving United States. What do you, you say, you bitch? Of illegal shoulder-mounted munitions. We'd rather you not sell them on the black market. The missiles. You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for. And you cause this all trouble. I you cash, piece of not crap. Their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men. Eh? I haven't it's killed anybody. Case. You prick. Yeah, he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me. That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money, Europe? guns, yours. You know what? Let's extort him. I'll take the cash you made on the sales here and the account number to the Saudi holdings you think no one knows about. This is because we have and access and to his fine. dossier. Saudi holdings? But the cash and the account code. I, I get you both. Here, I, I transmit to you. Number check out, see? Good. Now get out of here before the Marines show. Are you sure about this, Mike? Yeah. If we just let him go without a bribe, he would have smelled a trap. Ah. Uh. I want him scared, not paranoid. And a little extra cash might prove useful later on. Okay. Fair enough. Search the room. And that's Check what, what we did, find. guys. That's what we've chosen. That I've chosen to do. Do you think that we've made the right choice? Please? Tell me in the, tell me in the comments. And I guess is it. Uh, what I wanted to mention is that our choices here actually mattered, for example. Now we acquired extra cash, we acquired a discount. And we will also be able to buy uh, uh, one piece of intel very cheap for our next missions. However, if we were to arrest him or to kill him, uh, a few other things would have happened. Uh, all the terrorists on all the next missions in Saudi Arabia were armed worse than that. And that would make our, fight, our follow up fights, if we had one, uh, much easier. There is, there are also some influence on the ending, but you will we'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see. I already have a plan in motion, but we'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's take a look at the statistics. We've got quite a number of XP from objectives, some from defeating enemies, some from evading enemies. I don't know which grants you more, by the way. Not sure about this. The stolen halberd missiles. We got a lot of cash, by the way. The stolen halberd missiles were tracked to a black market arms dealer, Omar Mohammed bin Nasri. He set up a camp in the abandoned palace outside Zalim. Agent Thornton was dispatched to infiltrate Nasri's compound and discover the location of the missiles. Agent Thornton successfully infiltrated the outer perimeter and got past Nasri's guards using only his persuasion skills. The guards eventually became aware of his presence, but by then Agent Thornton was already deep in the compound. Once inside, Agent Thornton reached the palace where Nazri was stationed, found his way in and encountered several large stockpiles of weapons ready for the clients in the region. Bonus objective, Agent Thornton found out information on Nazri's trafficking with the local al Samad cell in the region. Analysts are still examining the data, but agree the preliminary examination of the intelligence looks promising and the agent is to be commanded. Bonus objective, Agent Thornton discovered uh, a crate of stolen weapons and successfully routed the shipment to a new destination. Cool. Agent Thornton bargained with Na Agent Omar Mohammed bin Nasri was intercepted inside the palace. He surrendered almost immediately. Agent Thornton bargained with Nasri in exchange for letting him go and so he that his movements could be tracked. He received a substantial cash damage deposit from Nasri's Saudi holdings. The Nasri movements can now be monitored, helping Intel gather efforts, but he is still active in dealing munitions, which will continue to escalate violence in the region. So, yeah, we made a deal with the devil, basically. In fact, increased intel options for in Saudi Arabia. In fact, cash deposit agent Thornton. In fact, negative effect. Arms traffic in the region is unaffected. So this this game is all about the choices. We just basically made the first major choice. Whether it's a good one or bad one, I mean, it all depends on your play style. Uh, when you spare somebody or make any decision, you get different perks. So it all accumulates in one way or another. Uh, this will result into a certain style of gameplay and ending. Let's take a look at our missions. Yeah, we barely used hands. We subdued 20 enemies, we didn't kill anybody. 
So that was quite, that was relatively clean. We fired some shots, but that's okay. A good number of medical bills. Okay, guys, I thank you very much for watching. Next time we are going to complete next mission. See you. It's going to be soon. Bye.